Good afternoon, Vikes. I'm Savannah. And I'm David, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Now for your announcements. Congratulations to the art students who received awards at the National Scholastic Art Competition. Make sure that you are bringing in your loose change for Interact's Pot of Gold Challenge to win a pizza party. Miss Kemp's CLP is in the lead with $201. The Vikings Unified Team Leaders would like to say thank you for everyone's participation in Spirit Week in helping to promote and spread inclusion. The Viking Brew is our local coffee shop. During the mornings before school starts, a group of students come together to form the Viking Brew. As a team, they make hot and cold coffees and now smoothies for other students. Here's how the Viking Brew was formed. Four years ago, um, Shauna Anderson and then a teacher who no longer works here, Heather Averill, and I got together and kind of decided to start it. Um, at first, it was kind of to help support the English department in trying to get printers and to help support the writing center with any type of purchases that we would need. While at the coffee shop, many memories have been created. We caught up with two members of Viking Brew and they shared their experiences while working. Um, I joined the Viking Brew because I really love coffee and um, my friends convinced me to do it. My sister does it and I thought I'd like it. Viking Brew is located right next to the gym, normally where the concession stand is for the games. Many benefits come from joining the Viking Brew. I think it helps with social skills. I think it teaches kids how to act during jobs. It's kind of like a mini job um, where they learn how to interact with people and customers in a safer environment that they feel like they can trust a little bit easier. Um, and I, then in addition, if you work at least four semesters, you have access to apply for the $500 scholarship at the end of the year for your senior year. Joining the Viking Group is a lot more simple than you think. You go and talk to Schaefer and say, hey, I'm interested, and she'll give you an application to fill out and turn in. There are certain times that we take applicants. Right now would probably be a time where we start looking into the very end of this school year and into next year because we're going to have so many seniors graduate this year. So we usually ask for applicants kind of towards the end of the school year or beginnings of the semesters. The Viking Brew will be waiting for your applications. To end this story, two members leave you with some information for potential members. Um, honestly, just join. Just go for it. Um, it's an enjoyable time. And make sure that you have a ride there um, because you do have to wake up kind of early. You should join Viking Brew, and it's really fun. Just come check us out and um, try one of our flavors. We have promotions and an Instagram account that you can follow that talks about our promotions and anything else that we are doing. Make sure to go and visit Juniors. If you apply to the internship program, check your school email this week for the date and time you will interview. Several new scholarship applications have been added to the high school scholarship page and posted to the class of 2021 Schoology page. For more, see Schoology. Interact Club Car Show will be held May 1st. Please see Mr. Collins or Ms. Miller for more information. Allie went to talk to Mr. Alexander to find more about to find out more about the early graduation for juniors. What's up, Vikes? I'm here with Alex to talk about juniors that want to graduate early next year. So, can you tell us about it? Yeah, so if you're a junior and you think that you are done with high school and want to be out early to either pursue job opportunities, go in the military, maybe start your college career early, um, that is a possibility, but the time is of the essence. So we had a meeting yesterday in the Counselor's Cove and I gave out information, but basically here's the rundown. You have to have 21 credits at the end of this semester. So if you are not gonna have 21 credits at the end of this semester, then you're not gonna be in a position where you can graduate early. So you have to have 21 full credits. You're also gonna have to take both of your English and both of your government in the first semester. 
So if you're not very good at those subjects, then this not, might not be something that you want to do. You might want to spread that out. Uh, you can still take shortened schedule second semester, but if you want to graduate early, you have to take all four of those in first semester, plus anything else they have it taken like personal finance and stuff like that to get you over the, over the top to get your 25 credits. But the big thing is, is we have to take this in front of the board in April. So I had the meeting yesterday. Letters from students are due on next Wednesday. Letters from parents are due next Friday. And I hope to be able to tie it all up by next Friday. So if you really want to do this, you need to see me ASAP. And I'll give you a packet that just shows you how to write the letters, what needs to go in the letters, and all that. And then I have to have time to write the letters as well from the counselor because they need all three documents to be able to approve you to graduate in December. So if this is what you want to do, you need to come see me because you can't decide over the summer and next fall you want to graduate early because it'll be too late so get on the stick make sure to finalize everything as soon as possible now back to your anchors juniors make sure to contact alexander thank you ali seniors if you plan on bringing an underclassman to prom make sure to pick up a form for miss varner in the front office for outside dates you must have a valid request in order to receive a form from mr schmidt now let's head over to sports to see the results of the first predictions of March Madness. Hey Vikes, for my upset, I have Oregon State beating Tennessee. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Oregon State, coming off of a Pac-12 tournament championship here, um, three straight over UCLA, Oregon, and Colorado. Tennessee, a five seed, took an L against Alabama, also lost to LSU, Kentucky, and Mississippi, who didn't even make the tournament. I don't know how you can disregard Oregon State's accomplishments. Uh, they're the 12th seed to pick. Hey Vikes, this is why you should pick Georgetown in your bracket this year. Georgetown is the hottest pick right now in college basketball. As even though they started five and 10, and the last 10 games, they're eight and two. They have had some COVID struggles, and that's kind of why they went 5-10 and 10 in those 15 games. In the Big East tournament, they beat number one seed Villanova and number two seed Creighton. Uh, they're, they were an AC too, so those are some big wins for them. Uh, Javon Blair is averaging 15.8 points per game, and uh, Quotas will have is averaging eight rebounds per game. Yes, Colorado is hot as they're 6-1 in their last seven games, but struggles on defense and playing a weak Pac-12 schedule won't cut it against the Hoyas. Georgetown is your 12th seed to pick in the East region. Hey Vikes, I'm here to tell you why Grand Canyon will be Iowa. So Grand Canyon, obviously the 15 seed, is coming in as a major underdog. However, with Luca Garza being able to be shut down by two seven-footers leading the way for Grand Canyon, there is a chance that Grand Canyon can put together a defensive matchup. Grand Canyon, being one of the nation's best defenses, only giving up 61 points per game, is going to be able to shut down Luca. And if they are, I think that they can beat Iowa and take down the Hawkeyes. Hey Vikes, this is why North Texas will beat Purdue. North Texas is on a winning streak of four while winning the CUSA tournament. Purdue is on a losing streak of one and losing in their tournament. And that's why I think North Texas will beat Purdue. If you feel like any of these teams can win their matchup, submit them in our school-wide bracket competition by filling out the Google form link at seamannews.com sports section to receive a bracket. Entries are due March 18th at midnight. With March Madness underway, the sports crew has loaded up their brackets for the season. Thanks, boys. Make sure to stay updated with SVTV Sports. That's all we have for you today, Vikings. Have a fantastic Friday.